Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the last weeks of December. And we might even look into what's coming further down the January. And um, this is going to be like a general reading. And we're going to check to see what's coming your way. I'm also offering private reading. So if you would like to book one from me, I'm going to put a link up here and in the description box. Okay. Let's jump in and let's see what is coming your way. To the second week, I see there's a thought bubble here going outside. And in the beginning of the first week, there's actually a path opening outside. This outside can be um, like to another uh, state or country, travel, the ideas are actually forming. Because it's not 100% clear, and it's actually turning all around. This might even be an idea of moving to somewhere else, okay? What I see here in your heart, you have actually a lot of concerns, it seems like to me. And there is actually a hope showing. Um, like there is a situation that you're very hopeful. And I see there's someone here with a ship coming through, maybe like with their little boat. This can be about a person or an opportunity that you're very hopeful that's going to show up. Um, and because there's a husky here, a dog above it, so dogs actually indicate loyalty. And if you believe that it's going to show up, yes, it's going to show up. And it's holding a heart right under it. There's a heart. So this is your heart's desire. You really want this commitment. You really want this thing to work out. And um, it seems like it's going to be working out, but toward the end of towards the end of the year, maybe in the beginning uh, of January, it seems like I see here there are waves. If you're expecting someone to show up, yes, this person will show up, but it's going to take some time. Um, they're probably struggling with their own problems, or maybe this is actually a new job opportunity that you're trying to manifest. It has its own like situation. It has its own timing, but it's going to show up in your energy, okay? I see here in the first week, you are actually working on like building a house here. There are four people under it, and you're building this roof. This can be like if you are the breadwinner, you're trying to make a home for your children. And also there's a person's face here, someone with a beard. And uh, maybe you are trying to rule these people. Another thing is like if you're the leader or you're trying to uh, receive something from them, um, your efforts are going to pay off. But the initially, it's going to take some, like initially you need to put some effort into it, okay? Um, when you put the energy into it, you're going to create this momentum. And this is going to start to bring you the things that you're desiring. I see here the, the magic lamp. This also looks like a person here. Like in their back, they have like a lamp carrying on top of their head. This looks like an older woman. Um, she's coming towards you. She's holding seashells, which reminds me in the past, back in the day, like in the back in the day, meaning in the historical times, they used to use seashells for transactions. Okay, so this can be someone very old. And they have a gift for you. They have something very valuable in their hand. And you're reaching out and helping this lady, okay? Uh, your help will actually going to, like, she's going to be paying you back with this very valuable things in her hand. Um, this can be a service that you're giving or maybe, like, um, a charity that you're doing. Like, whatever it is, it's going to actually going to pay back. The karma is going to bring you very good luck when you help this person. I see towards the end of the first week, there's a legal paper showing here. This can be like sunshine showing up. Uh, this legal paper doesn't have to be like a court related thing. I feel like this is all about like uh, maybe like a legal, uh, in a like a governmental thing that you applied and it didn't, uh, the results didn't come back yet. Can be like a school application. And whatever that legal thing is, the answers, the replies will be showing up. I see also a roof, maybe related to a house situation. And towards the second week, I see there are four penguins lined up here. What penguins do is they mate for life, okay? And they're very good friends. As you can see, these penguins are holding hands. So the second week, the last week, probably you're going to have come together with your friends and loved ones. And the people that are committed to you, they're supportive of you. And there are actually two penguins here kissing. Maybe there is like a wedding ceremony that you're going to be a part of. That I see like the phone lines are going to be calling you and telling you to show up. Um... 
or maybe this is your ceremony if that's the case with you if you are uh, maybe you have someone that you're committed to you might actually get like a proposal for life that's what like the penguin do they actually serve uh, the male one gives a beautiful pebble to the other one and then she accepts it and they make for life so that can be the situation happening in you in your life here I see there's a sleigh here and on the sleigh there are one, two, three, four people. One of them with the Santa is pulling the sleigh here. So this can be like a family environment coming together. Maybe with the family and friends, you're going to come together and celebrate and gift giving. I also see like these are like arrows just shooting out. This seems like arrows shooting out, bows and arrows shooting out. This can also be you shooting out your desires to the universe, manifesting your desires, writing them down, journaling, or maybe sharing with others and with the others that they can actually help you with. And this will be coming back to you. When you put it out there, you're going to actually start to receive back response from the people, the universe, and the things that you really want to, that can actually help uh, to create these things in your life. Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There is actually a new horizon, but it seems like within the second week, maybe two, another, the, the next year is going to be going to uh, happening. And there's your desire is coming really fast. And there's a massive crowd that you're going to be become a part of. Uh, this is going to start actually like the whole this to the end of December, it seems like you're going to have like a massive crowd surrounding you. I have a phoenix rising here towards the end of the year. You might have a transformation, a transformation help, transformational help might come through. I also see a woman here hugging this horse. Horse means wish fulfillment, but the woman hugging the horse can be also the knight of, I want to say pentacles. But because the horse is coming, maybe Knight of uh, Airs, which is the Knight of Swords. This, because I see a sword kind of a thing here. So sword energy can be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This can be um, actually speaking your own truth. You might get the opportunity, uh, the chance that you're looking for to speak your own truth. Maybe express yourself um, in the beginning of the week. You might even have the chance to speak up. And maybe demand the things. Maybe demand that raise that you want. To demand that relationship that you want from the person that you're actually like spending time to. Okay. I see Scorpio. Yep, there you go. Let's pull some cards and let's see what your cards are going to actually say. We have the King of Cups here. King of Cups is actually your energy as well. Um, this is the masculine side of the waters. So you might be manifesting someone, maybe love coming through, or this can be a person. Like this can be a person coming through in your life that is very compatible with your energy or can be this is your energy. Maybe you are in a very good situation. You're in an optimum position to manifest somebody in your life. Okay, so um, keep that attitude, whatever it is. Just I said that we have the two of cups here. Perfect union, soulmate relationships. And uh, this can be even like um, emotionally fulfilling um friendship a new job six of pentacles here you're gonna have the opportunity to give and receive that financial security create that financial security in your life that you're gonna start to create the karma and um, i feel like the love the money and emotional fulfillment they're all gonna be flowing into your life um this week and we have here the eight of pentacles you might get the, this two weeks actually you might get the opportunity to learn new things expand your vision you know, learning things about love friendship money and so keep being open to that with that energy you can you're gonna actually start to create the things that you're desiring on the bottom of the deck we have the ten of pentacles so this uh, two of cups might even indicate um a new opportunity of work that you're going to actually feel fall in love with you're going to enjoy doing that you're going to be giving and receiving great graciously and abundantly and this will actually help you learn a lot of good things and which will help you create generational wealth okay further along the line all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye